what started off as a small fire that seemed somewhat insignificant has quickly escalated into what you see here, acres and acres of property being destroyed. GBN News team was on hand to capture fire tenders at work. We spoke to one contractor who has just finished construction of this home behind me who told us what he saw when he got here just around 8.30 this morning. Right, as you can see, I'm finishing up this house. I'm a builder. This morning when I came out, it was around half past eight and there was a small smoke across there. And a little later on when I look out, some of the workers told me about look at the fire, started like it has fire. And I called out to ask if anybody have this fire under control. Nobody didn't answer. I thought it was somebody born in bush. And so I called the emergency 911 and they put me into the fire department. Well, by the time I get through the fire, the fire was already the department. The fire was already, you know, moving. And they came. But what happened, they came and they stopped there and they started to wet. But when the fire, then the fire, there was a dry stump there, you know, and the fire came back. So they went up on the side maybe to save the houses. While they was wetting up, the fire came here and it gone all in the back. As you can see, this house is, is in a little while I'll be cutting away all the, the material from below the house. It's a little scary right now for me. If you understand, all the old stuff and so on is below the house and in that fire region, that is a lot of problem. GBN was told that workmen quickly swung into action, doing what they can to avoid the fire from spreading to the nearby buildings. Uh, look at that, you see right now the water just came back, the water went, so we, we borrowed the neighborhood because I was could just return. I have um, two men down in the back, they're trying to wait and keep the fire. They told us to wait what we can steal. So we empty all the jumps and I'm trying to keep it. Yeah, so we try to, you see some of where the stone is there, there is some debris there, we have to it out from there. Look at the guy is just trying to take out some in case the fire comes up. Speculations are that the fire was started by someone attempting to burn bush. Kendall Charles, an architect by profession, was on his project site in the same area in Mount Morris when he was alerted. He is grateful that no one was hurt as a result of the fire and was able, with the help of his team, to salvage their material. Of all, the, the smoke is an issue, heat is an issue, and the wind because the wind increases fire and increases smoke and, and the heat. You know, some people might have cancer or asthma or other health issues which may affect their health at this time. So they should take precautions in, in probably wearing masks or you know, areas where they could save, or save themselves from being hurt by the smoke or the heat in this moment. So the precaution to take place to avoid injury in this area at the moment. Another individual who has just begun laying the foundation to construct a new home said his concern is the use of water already in limited supply. I was on work and um, my project manager would have called to inform me that there is fire in the property and um, being a new homeowner <laughs> it was an immediate concern to me you know because um, so much has been invested in material that is on site and even the loss of time. So my concern at the moment is primarily the fact that the fire department have to use already scarce um, water resources um, to out the fire that is surrounding the entire property because so many houses are at risk at the moment and you're talking about thousands if not millions of dollars in value of, of properties that is, a, is at risk. So it's really a concern and I want to make an appeal to the Grenadian public that we consider very carefully um, the limited supply of water that we have. We don't know how long this dry spell is going to last, so every ounce of water counts. The National Democratic Congress Party caretaker for St. George Northwest, Senator Jonathan Lecret, was there to offer support to homeowners. Very, they're very much overworked indeed, but they are doing an excellent job and I think that we must commend the fire department, the men and women who work at the fire department of the Royal Grenada Police Force. Um, hats off to you. I trust that at the end of the dry season you can certainly get some rest and recuperate for the next dry season with a better operational plan, etc. to be able to handle these um, challenges where fires are concerned. So as government representative in the area, St. George Northwest, I was apprised of the fire and as a result I started my visiting to every aspect that the fire has affected. Um, chatting with the residents, touching base with them, ensuring that people's homes are safe, ensuring that if people's homes are not safe, we have to find alternative places of arrangement for them in terms of living quarters, etc. So that's really my purpose here this afternoon, making sure that residents are safe, um, their crops are safe, their homes are safe, their, 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 and that the houses that were threatened um, were not threatened too badly, but I see some people wetting theirs as well, and I guess we're 
following the adage which says when your neighbor house is on fire, you wet yours. Reporting from the site of a massive fire in Mount Morris, St. George, where firefighters are still hard at work trying to contain a blaze. I am Chris Lena John for GBN News. Okay.